stretch your skill because they're unlikely to top out early. And so if Dan Sushi was in a position where he was going to get his first max out, he would certainly have enough game runway to do it against Eric ICX. Moving to the winner's finals. Winner's finals. Another very classic Xeno matchup is Baseball Boy versus RJ. Really strong openers coming out here. Baseball Boy already dealing with a fair amount of garbage. Yeah, like you said, both players just absolutely sprinting out the gate here. Both very comfortable with this game, and it absolutely shows. And so, uh, unlike TEC, uh, PPT, you were mentioning, th there is no garbage canceling. Yeah. It just, you know, hopefully you're in a better position by the time it gets to you. Yeah. Yup. It's having an active combo does not prevent the garbage from going onto your board, and honestly, that sounds terrifying. Uh, I mean, we just see we, we, we see the floor just sticking at roughly the same level, even as RJ is clearing so aggressively. Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful, but beautiful Z spin there. Baseball boy keeping pace uh, very well. And then it's, it's really, it's just like what kind, like how complicatedly can you set up on top of the garbage? Exactly. Like Baseball Boy setting up the T-spin on top of the pre-made well. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. We usually call that forecasting. Got it. Forecasting or a prophecy T-spin. They're kind of used interchangeably. I love it. Coming up right near the top, Baseball Boy needs to... Looks absolutely calm, though, just sitting there chewing his gum. <laughs> Unbelievable. Very chill player. Uh, but both, both players just... Yeah. yeah, I guess, yeah, both these players are very good at keeping their cool. I mean, just, just Tetris is flying back and forth. Yeah. Double max out. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fin T-spin from Baseball Boy right there. Ooh, that missed drop on the S. Not happy about it. Is that oh, going to turn into an SD? No. Oh, no. No, that had, dude, that was an attempt into an SDSD setup, but then he missed drop the T fuse. That was going to be wild if he abs like if he ended up pulling that off and then okay, he missed drops the beginning of this causing him to be on the back foot at the start of this round. Mm -hmm. oh. RJ finding the T spin double. Oh, another misdrop. Miss drop. Yeah, there is a missed drop there, and again, that is the round. What an easy win. Baseball boy starting to find himself on the other side of a shutout. You can see him a little upset about that missed drop right there to start this round as well. A little bit of hesitation. That is a C spin. That no, that's not how that C spin works. Uh, you, you can't can't let can't, can't yeah, let yourself get you taking it. I have done that, but that's a, okay, that's a great solution to it. I don't know if, okay, there's, uh, this down stack is tough. Can it come out? Can he, can he take it out? Oh. Yeah, the, the misjudge on the height of the C-spin there is unfortunate. Again, I've done it myself. It is a very easy move to make. Well, uh, yeah, what is, yeah. Swing and a miss for baseball boy. Of the puns. Uh, it's, 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 it's what I got. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, RJ just uh, four zero. Looks like RJ is a misdrop here. Either that, or I don't understand the opener. Nope, I don't understand the opener. Okay. It, okay, some of that looks slightly wrong. I think that was him making the best of a weird situation. That, yeah. I can never tell. When I was like very new to just openers in general, I had no idea if something was intentional well, or not. Yeah, I know. When I was first getting into uh, competitive Tetris, uh, and I was playing Salted Bread in a friendly, he did a uh, DT Ken because that was still in style at the time. <laughs> and he had the three pieces to just slam down immediately, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought he misdropped so badly, I SD'd. I was just like, damn, we could just start the game over. Oh, no. I actually did not realize that was on purpose. Oh, it looks so cool. fun. I love that opener. Um, oh, it's fine. I'm just saying, I thought he screwed up so badly. Yeah. Okay, and there Baseball we go. Baseball boy, boy with the first round. Getting some points up on the board. 
Yeah, I host a, uh, a Tetrio tournament for people who don't know how to play. I put them all in a Discord call together and in a, a Battle Royale lobby together. Nobody knows what they're doing, but one of them does know um, uh, DC Cannon, but she reads it off of her second monitor. So whenever I think of DT Cannon, I just think about that. To be at a level where you have the time to read a, an opener off of your second monitor is uh, wild. And Baseball Boy is finding uh, a little bit of traction in this matchup, but mm -hmm. the question is, did he find it too late? I, I mean, only time will tell, but that is an unfortunate um, score deficit that Baseball Boy is going to have to come back from if he wants to win this set. I mean, moment uh, RJ definitely has the momentum. For sure. It does seem like uh, RJ is actually playing from a slightly more sedate perspective. Like, uh, th this is the kind of tanking that I thought that I would see more commonly in uh, TEC when you're actually ha waiting on the garbage differently. Ah, hmm. uh, and now... Still pretty, pretty solid, but Baseball Boy ahead and score significantly. Yeah, Baseball Boy definitely has the speed advantage in this matchup and is taking advantage of it as much as he can, but still finds himself at the top of the board, and that does bring it 5-1 in RJ's favor. Uh, I mean, it's... It's different because when you're when you're dealing with classic, you have a uh, at least oh perfect clear opener. It's different because board health is uh, sometimes relatively it, it, it's you can you have a longer runway because yes. you aren't getting dealing with garbage, but board health is always important no matter what game you're playing. Mm -hmm, for sure, big run. Does he see it? Oh, he does not see it. except he got enough anyway. Ren means combo, in case you're wondering. Yeah. Mm, thank you. Ren gaming is a meme. <laughs> oh, no. And a Twitch play. account. I'm learning so much. Yeah. Basically, no one in the uh, competitive Tetris community like combos. You guys uh, have it nice in tech with your three, maximum three damage combos. We have a question for uh, he Hello Cat asks, mm -hmm. what was her pieces per second while she was reading the opener off her second monitor? <laughs> oh, I mean... <laughs> Probably point four. <laughs> I've, uh, I mean, like, last time I played Tetrio was probably uh, a Jonas stream when he had mm -hmm. had it set up with Nestrio mm -hmm. rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there is, um, I guess I'm one of the admins for this, so I'm kind of advertising, but there is um, a Tetrio super streamer lobby where they create some very fun game modes. I am on the testing team for that. Um, and so they did actually have classic players come in and suggest you, settings for the classic game mode in that. Interesting, I mean. Fractal was there, I got to be in a Discord call with them. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm. You know, I, 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 I would have guessed that they would just be using Jonas' settings as a baseline because that was, you know, a standard that he set for a long while. Yeah. But uh, the creator of that um, event really likes to reinvent rule sets. Nothing wrong with trying to keep things modern and relevant. RJ is at the top of the board here. Baseball Boy, yeah, that misdrop there is going to bring it to a 5-3 in RJ's favor. Baseball Boy definitely has the ability to bring this back. That's, as, as has been made famous in many a baseball match, it ain't over till it's over. True. Originally credited, I believe, to the great Yogi Berra, <laughs> speaking of baseball. And almost color clear. <laughs> I 
perfect clear. Oh, our... I heard some. I heard some yelling from outside. I mean, I got a slight, um, a slight warning on that one. Just the amount of oh that came from out there. But that is going to push RJ very far up. I mean, he is finding he's this balance managing back. it. Yeah. And he's got uh, uh, some some very aggressive stuff to come back with. Some fortuitously aligned garbage. Some nice forecasting from Baseball Boy, finding some teaspoon singles. Yeah, both players are... Strong combos <laughs> on the way down. Yeah, both players are, you know, finding similar efficiency, finding similar attack. And it's kind of leading to a bit of a tug of war going on here. Baseball Boy hesitating a little bit in the creation of this down stack. He, he, he's got to start leveraging his speed. Oh, and, and so he is. Seven combo from Baseball Boy there. And open for business. <laughs> nice DT. Let's go. The T pieces come a little late in the sequence, but baseball boy. That's a T. Oh, that is a oh, simul T spin beautiful. triple. Is that what we saw? Beautiful. Yeah. So that's a DT. Um, the DT cannon mm -hmm. opener creates a DT, and that was lucky because that was a DT over C spin. So you set up a what's essentially, I mean, it starts off as a T-spin double, and then the residue mm -hmm. creates a T-spin triple. T-spin triple, residue can create a T-spin double if it's a C-spin. You just need one line of garbage in the correct spot underneath it. And that'll take it to 4-5, still RJ leading, but Baseball Boy, uh, you know, bringing it uh, almost back to even. Oh, a little bit of hesitation uh, from RJ. Choosing to build out on the left and Ooh, almost a classic styling. RJ stacking out of this misdraw very well. Ooh, I don't know. That's, yeah, that's that going to be like tough. A yeah. Baseball boy is going to tie it up. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, Tied game and oh, uh, very miss drop on the TKI follow up. Difficult miss drop to escape, but bur burn down that roof, split triple, and uh, trying to combo his way out of this, getting oh, access to the garbage. T spin triple on that setup. TST. TST, T spin triple? Yes. Got it. TSD, T spin double. Outstanding. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Can you guess what T-spin single is? Mm -hmm. TSI? <laughs> 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 like, I don't know. TSS? Yeah. Okay, yeah. there we go. TSD for RJ. Tetris for Baseball Boy coming back. Trading. Trading blows aggressively. Neck and neck, as we might say in classic. Though RJ's got Love a significant score it. lead. Oh, it's just, it, it, Ooh, okay. Baseball boy at the top of his board. RJ oh, can take that this I home. Drop, that I missed drop is going to be it for the round. Baseball boy clearly not happy with that I missed drop. Match <laughs> point. <laughs> uh, is ma match point or is it win by two? Um, We don't see match point in the little UI at the bottom. So this, I don't know if win by it's 10, oh. first to 10. Oh, for, for the semifinals. All finals matches are first to 10. First to and first to seven. Yeah, it was uh, aggressive. Does this Final. game even have win by two functionality? I, you don't know how much I would love win by two. Okay, so the answer is no. Mm. Win by two is the coolest thing. I do it all the time when I'm like doing viewer matches. It's just so good, especially with silly shoulder scrub. I grew up in a volleyball family, so. Mm -hmm. Understandable. Yeah, win by two is default. I was at lunch playing cornhole, so. <laughs> 
Oh, I see, up, I didn't play volleyball. I was the unathletic sibling. Ah. Uh, I grew up with Mario Tennis, so mm. win by two household. Yep, exactly. Mario Tennis, first appearance of Waluigi. That is some good trivia. Is a doubles partner for Wario, yeah. I love that. Oh, there's, there's so much discourse about Waluigi. Uh, but no, it's excellent, yeah, excellent trivia knowledge for anyone watching. People don't know about Waluigi's origin. I mean, you know, it's shrouded in mystery. I just He's remember really all the memes when Waluigi was not put in Smash. Yeah, he mm. comes from Camelot, Devin <laughs> says. It is a silly place. I like to just imagine that he's literally just a guy Wario found. It's just like... Found? Yeah. <laughs> like, he was You're just, my brother now. He was just playing tennis because he likes to play tennis and do all sorts of things. And then he just found Waluigi just like, yo, want to be partners? All right, this is your new name, sir. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, I like to think the names are just complete coincidences. Uh, th th there's a great piece on the internet, uh, Critical Perspectives on Waluigi, which goes into uh, various literary criticism takes on... One, one sec, horrendous garbage on Baseball Boy's side. <laughs> yeah, that is horrendous. That was RJ. like the worst garbage I've ever seen in my life, oh my god. Yeah, no, that's... Good, good luck comboing out of that, but it's certainly possible. Setting up the TSD over that, rather than just trying to keep the combo going. Okay, despite that tough garbage, Baseball Boy works through it and does find himself in an advantage situation. That, that's That was truly impressive survival. And now RJ needs to really yeah, pour it on. Yeah, that is a misdrop on the J, and that is going to give the round to Baseball Boy. Again, this is a long set. Both players are, uh, you know... I, I may it's have to go go pick up dinner and tap out of this before too terrible long. Yeah, that's fair. That's why I show up late. Six to seven. So despite a relatively slow start, uh, RJ is uh, now. Barely hanging on to a lead. Baseball Boy really took it back. And it's now truly anyone's game. Yeah, both players have some pretty tough garbage to work through here right now. Outstanding. Baseball Boy making short work of a fair amount of that garbage. Truly excellent play. Off at the top for RJ. It's it's manageable if if one can do exactly what RJ is managing. Wow. Yeah, some very nice down stack into there. Strong, strong Ren, is that is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> I'll figure out how to say it properly. You eventually. know what? <laughs> I all allow it. I you know I'm not super familiar with the terminology in this game, so I'm not the, the ref on what is and isn't correct usage, but I'll take it. <laughs> Simultaneous action, pin. clears going back and forth. I'm actually going to. Uh, what, 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 what was that website for the food around here? Somebody said there was a website. House of 3000.nyc slash food. I'm going to oh, look and dang. find the. Yeah, if you don't feel like using your maps app. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give oh. give some of that sweet, sweet SEO juice to uh, House of Three Thousand. RJ is at the top of the board here. Baseball Boy is trying to tie it up with access to this next well. Amazing. So many, so many excellent options. Ooh, RJ with a misdrop here. Works his way through it pretty well. Still very, very tense. 
can he combo out of this? He's he's so smart. Oof. He's dead anyway. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's just how it goes sometimes. You can have the best play to get out of something and uh, still lose. So sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. We have a DT Cannon versus a Mr. T-Spin opener here. A Mr. T-Spin opener. The full, I love that's real. The full name of the opener is Mr. T-Spin's STD because it's a T-Spin single, T-Spin triple, and then T-Spin double. That's why I don't say the full name of the opener. That's why no one says the full name of the opener. I mean, <laughs> you know. It's, it's, I, I, it's uh, cursed. I, when I, I said I find a new cursed opener every day, that's what I was referring to. That's what started the, the journey of cursed openers was that one right there. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't argue. All right. Joe Shanghai closes at 10. Ooh, so I the mid-game PC. Ooh. And what a what a smack. I don't think it got time to make its way onto RJ's board. Oh wait, speaking of Miss Drops, boy. Ooh, the TKI! The TKI Miss Drops from RJ. Baseball Boy now has the lead for the first time in this set, I believe. That is true. Baseball Boy 8-7. Can he capitalize on the momentum? And take take it away from RJ. Oh. Yep, there's the momentum, and that does bring us to match point. Can he take it to 10? I think he can. Yeah, it's it's wild to see Baseball Boy be the first one to be on match point here, especially after that start. But, you know, he brought it back. RJ is very, very high up, and we think, oh, can he survive this? It would be truly, truly impressive. He is has it what's at least going the beginning happen? of the P sequence to get out of this. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he has the pieces he needs. And he's finding a great deal of success. Ooh, a little bit of greed to build up that Tetris. I like that. Almost necessary, and... Ooh, is that a misdrop? That mistrop? is a misdrop. That is oh. a misdrop on the IP so it was supposed to go into that well. Gotcha. But it's not proving to be a fatal misdrop. Still finds his way into the... Okay. Okay. Yep, finds the entire... Fr okay, no, we're going into a TST tower instead. Oh, no. Can't get over. Can't oh. bowl vault. <laughs> I, really? I hear the, the chorus of no from outside. I think that they were excited to see that TST tower and wanted to, to see it get set off. And honestly, I did too, but that was still a very exciting match between those two. Very good comeback from Baseball Boy right there. 